Once our Raspberry Pi boots up, the next step is that we need to get the IP address that was assigned to our Raspberry Pi. Now you can go about this in a variety of ways. And to help you, I've provided a link here where you can find the router's IP address. And this page actually tells you in a variety of ways for different operating systems like Windows. You can open up a command prompt and type in ipconfig. And you should see the default gateway. It will tell you what the IP address of your router is. So that is something we want to access. And you'll be able to see the IP address that was assigned to your Pi. Next, you can also on a Mac, just scrolling down here a bit, on OS X, if you go to your system preferences and network, you can actually go to the advanced button and here on the TCP IP, you'll see your router. And I will do this step here in a second. Also, if you used a hotspot on your iPhone or your Android device, you can go into your network settings and you'll be able to see the IP address that was associated to your Raspberry Pi when it boots up. So in this case, I'm assuming you have a router and you connect it to a Wi-Fi network on your home router. And once you get the IP address of your router, you'll need to log in to the main router homepage. And let's go ahead and get the IP address of my router. So I'm going to go to system preferences and I'm going to click on network and click on advanced and the TCP IP and here is my IP address. So once you get the IP address of the router, you just need to enter that into a browser and that should bring up the main page to log into the admin console of your router. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I had already logged in. I have an Aris router. I'm just going to scroll to the bottom here. And you'll notice here is Raspberry Pi. So here I see the IP address that was assigned to my Pi. It's 192.168.1.118. And that's how I was able to get the Raspberry Pi IP address. If you do have a router and perhaps you don't know the admin username and password to log into your router, here's another link I will put as a resource. And routerpasswords.com, essentially you can click on this drop down. There is every thinkable router out here. And let's go back to Aris, for example. That's a router that I have. And you click on find password. It would tell you that the default username admin for the username and password for password. So in addition to this, typically at the underside of your router, there is a sticker where you would get the IP address and the username and password. You can also access it that way if you have access to the router itself and you'll be able to get to the main admin page. So go ahead, find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and we're going to continue our setup in the next video.